Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's college football time, and I'm talking once again with my partner in crime, Drew Martin, out of the ATL. Last week, Drew was 1-1. One and one. He's 7-5 and five for SBR in college football. All right, the momentum's getting ready to be picked up, and uh, if I'm all correct, Drew has a totals pick today on two small schools that usually equal large profits. So with that being said, hey, Drew, nice having you on board. Louisiana Tech taking on UMass. Now, with all due respect, you, I, you and me and Dennis could probably score a touchdown against this UMass defense. All right, they're non-existent. They're giving up points at a premium. And last I checked, all right, they have an injury report uh, that was just updated that spells disaster for this weekend. So Louisiana Tech minus 14, or is the uh, ticket cashing possibility with the over at 61 and a half? Well, Brenner, uh, thanks for having me on, bud. And actually, I, I do like Louisiana Tech on the on the as a side, but you know, traveling all that distance, laying two touchdowns, I think we get a little bit more value in the total. And uh, actually, yeah, this this UMass defense, you hit on it, man. They have given up over 400 yards a game, and they actually haven't faced an offense like they're going to see on Saturday in Foxborough. This Louisiana Tech offense, it's really humming right now. Fifth-year senior quarterback Ryan Higgins, he's uh, he's really lighting it up. We saw it last Thursday against uh, Western Kentucky, and I just think that they're going to be able to really move the ball, score some points against this uh, banged-up UMass defense. Their uh, their leader Shane Hoover, the uh, the middle linebacker, he's actually out for the year. So um, yeah, I see him. I see him possibly getting north of 50 here. Yeah, it could be. When your leader's out, whether it's defense or offense, he's usually the voice in the locker room. And when you have a team that's 1-5, and five, it's going to take someone like that to shake it up. They don't have that. And right now, all right, and doing some reading, I know Louisiana Tech is traveling for this one, but I guarantee they're studying that game film, and they're going to pick apart this secondary like it's nobody's business. When you get a fifth-year senior, this kid wants to shine. And the only way to do it, it's certainly not handing the ball off. I think this team comes comes out early and often, and I personally am looking at a first half play at seven and a half. What are your thoughts on my play on a first half with Louisiana Tech? Yeah, I like that a lot. I mean, the only thing that's keeping me off of uh, really laying the two touchdowns is, you know, late game, maybe UMass puts one in to, for the backdoor cover if, sure. they, if they keep it close. But yeah, that first half, I mean, the way Higgins is throwing it, I, I don't see how they're not going to put up, uh, you know, a bunch of points. They're, they're averaging over 500 yards per game in this UMass defense. I, I, I just don't think they know it's going to hit them on Saturday. I, I think you're right. You know, for me, I, I cap off emotion, momentum. I, I just love, I thrive with that. And Louisiana Tech at 3-3, three and three, they know they have some open-end possibilities. And I can't state it enough, not beating a dead horse, but a fifth-year senior that's hot, has an arm, this kid wants someone to notice him. And that's why he's going to be looking. He's not worried that UMass is one. One and five. He's looking at an opportunity, all right, literally midway through the season to light up that scoreboard. So I like it. I think that kid comes out focused and I think he comes out firing right away. All right, viewers. Um, hey, and again, what was the uh, over set at the best shop line, Drew? Well, it's actually 62 right now, but you can find it uh, 61 and a half at Bet Online. So that's minus 110, 61 and a half over at uh, Bet Online right now at the SBR odd screen. Hey, look, I'm going to change pace for a minute because NHL hockey drops the puck tonight. And Drew, I know you've been capping for a long time, so I just wanted your thoughts on this. We still have on our bonus page a lot of books. I mean, Bookmaker, Five Dimes, the traffic that's flowing that way to take advantage of those bonuses. I mean, that is literally a tool that you can beat the bookie without even betting. Um, do you agree on that? And with NHL, do you know if there's any books that, I mean, I don't need names of them, but there are some shop books that offer better lines on NHL. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for you, for the, you know, you know, the listeners out there did not have you know three or four books you know at least two but I, I recommend the more the merrier just just to be able to line shop you know that that is the difference long term and being uh, really you know a positive expected value better you know you got to be able to shop around find the best line and as far as hockey I mean I, I know five dimes is doing some uh, some nice promos some you know you get upwards of what 30 40 percent on the dollar when you sign up absolutely and that's hard to beat and again there you go it's all about line shopping and that's a tool that everybody should have in, in literally in their work pouch every single time if you're really handling this like a business. So with that being said, viewers, take advantage of it, jump on board, and in the meantime, cash another ticket with the over. It's at 61 and a half right now. Drew Martin's going to get it done. Hey, Drew, have a great day, my friend. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Do your research before you bet. 
check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.